Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for you here to help you build awesome websites without code. And for quick tip number two, I've decided to talk about adaptive design uh, in Adobe Muse. Uh, now, I have seen quite a few websites with 10 or more breakpoints, um, and that can get pretty confusing and pretty cluttered uh, very quickly, and it could even affect the performance of the website. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about adaptive design, which allows you to have a dedicated website uh, for each device, desktop, tablet, and mobile. And for those who have been struggling with breakpoints, you know how many breakpoints to add or where to add breakpoints, uh, hopefully this video will be helpful. Uh, now responsive design is great because it does allow you to have a mobile version of your website. And Google actually looks for your website to have a mobile version uh, for you to rank higher in the search engines. Uh, but Google does not specify whether you need a responsive website or a or an adaptive website. Um, it just says that you need a mobile version of your website um, and it needs to perform well and it needs to have a good user experience. Uh, so in this video tutorial, I'm gonna talk a bit about adaptive design and how it can help in your web design process and development. Uh, so here I'm on the desktop version of the website and to add the different layouts or to work with adaptive design in Adobe Muse, um, you just go to page, add alternate alternate layout and I'll click tablet and I'll click OK and then if I go to the plan view here I have the tablet version of the website and here I can click on phone uh, to get the phone version of the website or the phone layout or I can go to page add alternate layout and select phone and I'll click OK so this is great because if we go to the desktop version the breakpoint breakpoint starts at 960 and if we go to the tablet version the breakpoint starts at 768, so any device that's 768 pixels or less uh, will use the tablet version, and you can even add breakpoints on this version as well. So you can have two or three breakpoints uh, for each device, and you don't have to add a ton of breakpoints just on the desktop version. And this can help with performance because you just have a few breakpoints on that device. And the same for the phone, uh, the breakpoint starts at 380, so any device that's that's 380 pixels or less, uh, we'll use the phone version of the website and again it can in improve performance because these, these websites are dedicated for those devices. Um, and another great thing about having the different, uh, the different websites, so let's say on the desktop you want to add a lot of nice third-party widgets, a lot of nice animations and effects. Um, you can do that for the desktop version and then for the tablet and phone you can keep it a bit more simple, just have a really nice design for those devices and not so many effects and animations and just have a really nice site that performs well on those devices. On phone, I do recommend keeping it simple. You don't want to add a lot of animations or a lot of effects because usually anyone on a mobile device is usually just looking for information quickly and is not so concerned about animations and effects. On tablet, you could get away with a few animations and effects um, and, and different things like that. Uh, but on phone, I do recommend keeping it very simple. Uh, on desktop, you can just you know make your website look really good with you know third-party widgets, animations, and effects, and it'll look really good on desktop. Um, so that's another uh, another plus with adaptive design. Um, you can just you know add third-party widgets, and you wouldn't need to hide the widgets on the different breakpoints um, because you could just go to the tablet version and not add any widgets or the phone version and, and you know just keep it simple just a really nice design um, and that will help with the performance of the website on those devices and another thing let's say on desktop you wanted to use the Adobe Muse scroll effects uh, you could just change the breakpoint into a fixed width breakpoint and not have it be fluid width so to do that uh, you just right click and click on fluid width and now we have access to the scroll effects so I can add scroll effects here in Adobe Muse and just use uh, those really cool scroll effects that we all liked using in the first releases of Adobe Muse. Um, so that's another plus there as well. Um, so that's it for this video tutorial. I just wanted to go over that quick tip. Um, adaptive design works well. You know, you can have different different websites for the different devices and add a few breakpoints on those devices um, and not have a clutter or you know just a, a bunch of breakpoints. Uh, on the desktop version. Uh, so hopefully that was helpful for anyone who's been struggling with you know how many breakpoints to add or where to add breakpoints. This could be a, a nice alternative for you to keep your web design process nice and easy and have a really nice website on all devices. Um, and it still shows up as a mobile website in Google. So you will have a nice uh, mobile website that performs well 
um, for mobile and then tablet and uh, desktop as well. The only drawback to adaptive design is that you're now maintaining uh, three websites, desktop, tablet, and mobile. But if you do have a good design and let's say you, you did want to change something on the tablet website, um, you just have to go into tablet and change things for that website. So that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.